Hello everyone, this is William here, and welcome back to the Wheel Trains videos. And I'm going to play Minecraft again. Today we're going to build is a Southern Pacific Daylight 4449. And this is a based off as a Southern Pacific Railroad, what it looked like. And you probably remember I did the video back in 2017. And one of the different changes on the bottom is I made a flat... The back in 2017 I did a video, it's a little bit too small. And even the sides are different, I've been changed. Anyways, let's get start building. Alright, first we're going to use a black wall. It will be the front wheels. So, let's start here. And skip one here, here, and here. Skip one and do two on top of each other. And skip ones. I'll show you. Just put four wheels. Will be driving wheels. And I'll do other side as well. And then skip ones and put two. Will be the trailing truck right here. Next, we're gonna use to make a flat surface using stone brick slam and fill it in, in the middle like that stop right here and to other side as well okay that looks pretty good yep that looks pretty good next we're going to use a stone button will be connect the wheels so put the stone button on the wheels will be located front wheels and the trailing truck like that all right, in the front, we're gonna use orange concrete. Will be the front of the thing. Start with the front and put high this. Just put three stacking each other and put here. Broke over here and put sides as well. And its side is three, two, three. And skip clear one, two, three. Skip one in here and do the other side as well. And then it will be like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen blocks long and do the other side as well. Oh, sorry about that. Next we're going to fill it in with the stone bricks uh, or I could call it stone stone bricks block I think and fill it in over here and let's do the other side no you can't okay never mind alright now we're going to fill it in using black concrete right behind the stone bricks blocks <coughs> sorry and will be the side rods I mean piston <laughs> piston not side rods and fill it in in the middle and stop right above here and fill it in of the top like that we're still continue the stone uh, I mean we're still continue the black concrete because we're gonna do the sides so stop right above here and do the other side as well like that perfect all right on top of the underneath the boiler we're going to use a stone brick slam or storm bricks block so now put the stone bricks block here in the middle will be the number plate and put the sides uh, sides of the number plate like that all right in the bottom of the drive wheels we're going to use a stone brick slam above the drive wheels so put here and stop right there and do the other side as well perfect next we're going to make a side rods using these two blocks and put stair blocks here and do a side rods using a flat piece stop right right here and do the other side as well stuff right here there we go 
Alright, next we're going to use to make a coupling wand using block of redstone and piston, or booster, as you could call. Put the block of redstone in here and put the piston will be the coupling rod. Alright, in top we're going to fill it in using a stone bricks block, like this. Stop right there. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, next we're going to use a stone button. will be this. I don't know where does this go. But this is what it looked like from this. <laughs> sure enough, it is. Alright, in the back, we're going to use a ladder. will be to get on the cab. Like that. Alright, next we're going to use a red concrete. will be the top of the orange line. So skip two and put here... And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blocks long, and do the other one as well, and do the other side as well, and stop right there. All right, now we're gonna make a front of the boiler using this block, this brand new block from Minecraft server. I don't know what it is, and the sea lantern. So put this blocks will be will be silver and like that and put the stir brand new stairs if you don't know you can't find it that's okay you could use a stone brick stairs instead all right now we're gonna put sea lantern in the middle I copied this headlight from the other youtuber I don't know what's his name just comics below you don't know what's I mean just comics below you know what this name is sure enough it is Alright, next we're going to use to make a front of the boiler using orange concrete and red concrete will be the front of the back of the boiler. So put two oranges in the middle and that like that. Next we're going to use to make a side of the windows using black stained glass. And we'll be here. And put two on the side. Next we're going to fill in the boiler using black concrete like that it's gonna take forever to fill in <laughs> okay do I get it? yeah okay sorry about that like that and fill it in over here oops just close it here and Do I get it all? Yeah. We're still continuing because we're going to do the sides of the cab. Uh, like that. Like that. I will do that top one for a few minutes right now. I'm just going to do this. Like that. Wait. Okay. Alright. Okay, we'll just do this sides here. I hope I can't see. Okay, that looks pretty good. Alright, in top of boiler, I'm gonna help you where the funnel is supposed to be. So skip once, right here. This will be the funnel here. Hold on, let me check over here. Yeah. And skip two here. And use the stone brick slam. Be the things I don't know. Skip once here. And skip two ahead and put one stone brick slam right there. There we go. Alright, next we're going to use to make a funnel using this. And put here inside. Pretty good. Alright, next we're going to use a stone brick slam. Will be sides of the cab. Go on the engine one time. And go over it. And go this way. And do like that. Perfect. Next, we're going to use end rods, will be the sides of the handrails of the boiler. So I'm going to put right here, 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 here. Stop like right above here. And to the other side as well. Oops. <laughs> okay, I think I just paused the video for a minute. Alright, stop right there on the side. 
All right, now we're going to make inside the cab using glowstone, inner frame, lever or switch, compass, torch, and a trapdoor. So first put the glowstone, put the trapdoor here, put switches on the side, and put the inner frame here, put compass here, put switches on the side of the, above the window, and put torch on the edge of the wall. Like that. There we go. Now you have a detail inside the cab. Alright, now we're going to use the slam will be the walkway across the tender. And do the sides as well so the people cannot fell off. Alright, we're done the locomotive. Now let's do the tender. Alright, we're going to use the wheels using the black wall. So skip two ahead and put two on the sides. Put the other side as well. Alright, that's about it. Alright, next we're going to use a uh, stone brick slam. Uh, here. And do the on the sides as well. And fill it in. Like that. And do the other side as well. Okay, that looks pretty good. Or an actually use a stone button will be connect the wheels. Okay, that looks pretty good. Alright, next we're gonna use a block of redstone and a piston or the booster. <laughs> Put the the thing that will be connect the tender and the back will be this. Like that. Alright, next we're gonna use a black concrete will be filled on the sides okay do not put over here will be the can will be concrete red concrete <coughs> <coughs> sorry and put it right here we're still continuing up the black concrete because we're gonna do the sides so put four on the side and this side as well put two on top and even the other side as well Alright guys, it's raining right now, but we're still continuing the video. And put the red concrete, will be the sides of the tender, and fill it in over here. And so now you need to fill the sides like that. Perfect. Alright, next we're going to fill in is the stone bricks block of the sides of the tender. Like that. Alright, next we're gonna do with the stripes using orange concrete. So do two here and skip and put in the middle of the above of the wheel here and skip ahead and put two on the side and do the other side as well. Oops. My mistake. We're still continuing because we're gonna do the f just right on the edge will be the the oil tank here. All right, next we're gonna use the slam will be this spots here. Next, we're gonna use white concrete will be the letters of Southern Pacific. So just fill in on the logos and the signs like that. Pretty good. All right, we're gonna fill it in on top of the orange stripe will be red concrete. So do on the side as well. Like that and do the other ones like that and stop right there. All right, next we're gonna use a black concrete will be on top of the red stripe. Like that. like that I'm not gonna do it on top because we're gonna do the inside the tender all right now we're gonna make an oil front of the tender like this so put the stone brick block here put the thing when it comes out put this sides here put switch here and put on top of the Sarah and put the stained glass will be like filled in the oil tank like that 
Oops. All right, now it's done. All right, on top of ten, we're gonna use a black concrete. So put three on top of each other and fill it in, and like that. I can't even see. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. That's good. Okay, I was checking. Yeah, it's actually covered. All right, on top of ten, we're gonna use a stone brick slam on top of the tender on the side to side and stop right there all right in the back of the tender we're going to use to make a headlight on the back of the tender so we're going to use inner frame and sea lantern so right here and here perfect looks pretty good all right the final train piece will be the number plates using the sign so it's 44.49, but the problem was the headlight looks like similar to GS2. You could put any number plate you want because it looks like GS2. Just don't forget to put 44 in the in the front. But I decided is 44.49 because I said about this video of the type on it. So, and the last one in back of the tender. All right, we're done. The sh we're done this train and I think that's about it how to build the Southern Pacific Daylight 4449 anyways if you like this videos make sure to like my videos and subscribe oh wait hold on it's not over yet <laughs> I just forgot the size of it sorry all right now it's end of the video so make sure to like my videos and subscribe or the bell and hope you join the will trains videos and I'll see you next time goodbye